Scientists used two mannequins, one coughing out droplets containing COVID-19 and the other equipped with a mechanism which imitates human breathing, inhaling virus particles. There is no doubt that masks reduce the amount of the virus entering into bodies. But at the same time, we should not overestimate the effectiveness of masks. Lead researcher and professor of virology Yoshihiro Kawaoka says the level of protection from the coronavirus depends on the type of mask one wears. We compared three different types of masks, cotton, surgical, and N95 masks, by putting a mask on a mannequin inhaling the virus. The N95 mask was the most effective one. Surgical and cotton are second and third, respectively. Takimasa Sakaguchi says using actual coronavirus made for a better experiment. I see the effort that they exerted to get results as close to the actual condition of inhaling the virus as possible. I believe that the result is quite similar to real life. On the streets of the capital, Tokyo, most appear to don some form of mask, but not all have the highest level of protection. Tokyo has around 200 new infection cases every day, so I think, at least in Tokyo, we should wear a mask. I'm used to wearing a mask since I have hay fever. I also wear it to protect myself from flu, especially in winter. During the summer, it was a bit challenging because it was really hot, but I think there was no problem wearing a mask. Japan has more than 98,000 coronavirus cases. At least 1,700 people have died and over 90,000 have recovered from the virus, according to government data. Mariama Jalu, VOA News.